SB 375 has done has really provided a table for us to come together and talk about the urban form of this extraordinary place we call Southern California. A great conference and I'm glad that people are participating and that's the key to the success of this program. Well, I think there's a great interest in it. I think people want to have a better understanding of what SB 375 is, both the, from the challenge uh, standpoint and the opportunity standpoint. And I think the volume of questions that we got uh, from the audience shows that people are very engaged in the process. Because I truly believe that when people are given all the right information, really sophisticated, real-time simulation tools, so that everybody like in a room like this could sit around, vote on what kind of housing they wanted to see, where, what kind of investments they wanted to see with their transportation funding, and could see up on a screen immediately what that means for air quality, what that means for open space, what that means for how long the average commute is. Uh, and then can evaluate with very good information the options uh, for investing for different transportation investments, different land use patterns. I believe that the people in this room would make the right decision. Those communities where people can choose to live, work, play, have the amenities that they want and don't have to get on the freeways will get that investment as in, as co in comparison to, to cities that don't have it. Almost 200 local governments in Southern California are working together to plan a shared future. It's not going to be a one-size-fits-all. The same plan isn't going to work for Laguna Hills that's going to work in Brentwood. But if we have similar principles of sustainability, of rebuilding prosperity, and protecting quality of life, and of protecting the environment, those principles cross all those boundaries. We want people to be informed about uh, what happened so far and where we're going next. It was amazing to see the diversity of perspectives on the panel, but also to see how much they had in common. I think there's a real, uh, there's a real sense that this is a shared goal that we all need to work together to achieve and that it can have real benefits for our communities as well as for the planet. I think we would all agree that SB 375 is a significant challenge for the state of California. But it's also, I think, an opportunity. And it's an opportunity that the Southern California Association of Governments is super inclined to work from a bottoms up strategy. It's our goal to work with our member agencies, our 189 cities, our six counties, on a proactive approach of integrating transportation housing, and land use.